Hey everybody, it is Sir Ant over here in China, loving the Seagull Merlin to death. Really can't uh, get over how much I love this little thing and how versatile it is. Uh, it's a little bit tricky at first, whereas it's really easy to play stuff on the pentatonic scale. Um, to apply that to non-folky uh, Celtic-y songs is a little difficult. Um, so I've been figuring out ways that I can play this thing without going too folky. Like I want to play all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I saw on the Merlin group that somebody was looking for chords for uh, Blister in the Sun. Great tune, um, absolutely well worth doing, and only four chords in the whole song. Now if you look at the guitar chords, it's uh, primarily G and C with E minor and uh, F, I believe, are the four chords that are used, which C, F, um, they just don't work on the... Uh, the Merlin tuned to DAD. So uh, what I did was I transposed the chords up to to A, D, F sharp, and E, which all are not only very easy to play on the Merlin, um, but actually sound not too bad when you're playing it. Uh, so let's look at the chords first. The first, the the verse of the song, when I'm walking, I strut my stuff. Very very easy. It's A and D, right? Now A on the Merlin is nice and easy right up here on the first fret. It's the first two strings, the D and the top string, the other D. That's an A. Now to play a D, which is the only other chord in the verse, you take your fingers off. When I'm walking, I strut my stuff, and I'm so strung out. So that's nice and easy, just two fingers, on, off. So A on, D, off. Okay, so that's the verse. It's so simple. Now, the chorus gets a little trickier <clears throat> because, oh my god, F sharp, once again, on the, uh, the Merlin, it's very, very easy. Second fret, bar. And then to D, so you take your finger off, put your finger back on, D, and then we go to an E. Now an E on the Merlin, again, very, very easy, first fret, bar. So it goes something like this. the whole song. So let me go over it one more time back here so you can see. Now we got A, we start off, one finger, two fingers, D, A, D, A, D, A, and repeat. That is the verse, chorus, bar. Now some people prefer to play their bars like this of course one finger. Due to the neck size on this, it is possible to play with three. You know, one, two, three fingers, sorry. One, two, three. Or, the way I usually play a D on a ukulele is I'll put one finger, my uh, middle finger on the bottom strings, and then uh, bar the top two with my index finger. However you want to do it, it's a bar. Right? So the chorus goes the F sharp, it's supposed to be an F-sharp minor, but uh, that's okay, it still sounds okay. D, take the fingers off, F-sharp minor, D, and then the last chord before I repeat everything, E. E again, bar on the very first fret. So let's go over that, let's see what it sounds like when we're actually rocking it out.